So I think it's a great day for our country and it's a very uh, good way to start the new year. And uh, both the vaccines are made in India and one of them is actually a make in India because it's a vaccine which has been, uh, the, the research has been done here and it's truly from scratch uh, an Indian vaccine. But I think the reason why it's a very uh, great moment is that unlike in the past where we had to rely on imports for various products, whether it be PPE or N95, now we have vaccines which are being manufactured in India and therefore we don't have to rely on vaccines coming from outside. And they're cost effective, they're easy to administer between 2 to 8 degrees centigrade, which is what can be done in an ordinary fridge. And we already have a very strong backbone of a universal immunization program. Therefore, therefore I think this is great news and we should in a very short period start rolling out the vaccine and this will really help us to bring down our mortality and get a control of the pandemic. So I think it's important to understand that when we look at any vaccine, safety is paramount. And therefore, a vaccine goes through various stages of uh, studying to make sure that it's safe. It started off with animal studies. You start with small animal hamsters, and then you go on to large animals like monkeys, and then you see that it is safe in them. Then only do you come to what we call human trials, and you do a phase one human trial which is actually looking at safety and what would be the dose which is safe and effective. Then you go on to efficacy trial and again safety trials in phase two with a larger number of people and then phase three trials. And then all that data is critically looked at by the regulatory authorities, by the experts, and then only is the vaccine given an approval. So at multiple levels, safety is looked at. So I don't think we should be concerned that much as far as safety is concerned. Even as far as the Bharat Biotech vaccine is concerned, it is on a traditional platform, which has been used for other vaccines also. So it's been shown to be safe and they have robust data from phase one and phase two to show that it's a safe vaccine. So we should be assured as far as safety of the vaccines are concerned. So uh, if you look at the approval of co-vaccine, it says clearly that it is for an emergency situation. It's not an emergency use authorization that has been given for Serum Institute. So because of the fact that more data still is needed, they have just given an emergency uh, approval for an emergency situation. And that is keeping in mind the situation globally. If you look at what is happening in UK, what is happening in uh, Europe and what is happening in the US, there's a huge surge in number of cases. U UK is reporting almost 57 to 60,000 cases per day, a huge increase in number of deaths. And this is because of the variant strain that is circulating. India has already f had reports about 29 to 30 ca uh, uh, cases of this variant strain. So there is a concern that the benefits that we have achieved over the last 10 months, the decline in the number of cases, the decrease in our mortality should not get suddenly sort of uh, uh, displaced and we start seeing an increase in number of cases because of this variant state. We don't have an effective antiviral drug. What we have is vaccines. So we must be proactive and that is why in an emergency situation where there is suddenly an increase in number of cases and we need to vaccinate a large number of people, uh, the Bharat Biotech vaccine will be used or when we have a situation where we are not sure how efficacious the uh, uh, Serum Institute vaccine is going to be, then as a backup, the uh, Bharat Biotech vaccine can be used. So the approval clearly says that only for an emergency situation, keeping in mind the circulating variant strain. And at the same time, they have to continue to do the trial and get the data in. So, so once that data comes in, we will be able to be more confident as far as the safety and efficacy is concerned. So I think in the beginning, it will be basically Serum Institute of India, the AstraZeneca vaccine, which will be given. They already have 50 uh, million uh, doses available and they will be able to give that to the initial uh, phase where we will uh, um, vaccinate around three crore people. And then gradually we will build on that. And by that time, the, the Bharat Biotech data will also be available. So this is, I think, important to understand that we are trying to really take care of any eventuality. For example, the vaccine which is being used in UK, because of the situation that the number of cases have increased, they've actually changed the timeline. The second dose was to given be given at 28 days. They're now giving it at 12 weeks because of the situation that they are wanting to vaccinate as many people as possible just with the first dose, because that will give them some protection and decrease the number of cases. So it's like a similar situation that we are being proactive rather than being caught off guard.